So where I am right now, the allergy season is literally insane. Almost everybody is walking around sneezing with itchy and puffy eyes, red itchiness, and a lot of people who actually have not had allergies before are coming in complaining and in school and around town that they're having crazy allergies. So can acupuncture help this? And if so, what does the science say about that? Well, in this video today, I wanna to highlight a couple different studies on some of the effects they found on using acupuncture standalone, no herbal formulas, for treating seasonal allergies and sometimes chronic allergies. Hey, it's Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now the first link in the description is a free download on five daily rituals you can use to add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. Again, once you click that, download that, it'll also give you a weekly email on how you can apply traditional Chinese medicine practices to live a healthier and better life. So check that out, first link in the description. So let's jump into a bit of this research and see what it says on acupuncture alone for seasonal allergies. So one of the first studies done in 2013 compared and studied seasonal allergic rhinitis in a sample size of 422 people. They compared acupuncture versus a sham acupuncture versus a rescue med medication. And what they found was that after treatment, the true acupuncture worked better than sham and better than the rescue medication group. And on top of that, after one year post-treatment, the true acupuncture was still better performing than sham. In another study done in 2002, the sample size was 30 people and it compared acupuncture versus sham acupuncture for seasonal allergies. Now, the way the participants reported their results was based on a subjective symptom scale, uh, as well as release medication after four weeks of treatment. And what these researchers found was that nasal and non-nasal symptom scores were significantly lower in the acupuncture versus sham group. A 2002 study on persistent allergic rhinitis found that in a study with a sample size of 90 people that compared acupuncture versus a sham versus a control, that the true acupuncture was associated with significantly greater reduction of symptoms compared with the sham and also the control. A 2013 study found that in a sample of 238 people that the true acupuncture also worked better than sham and it worked better than a control in this case too. And it was studying a cluster of symptoms, uh, nasal congestion, sneezing, itching, and so on. Another study done on 72 people that compared allergic rhinitis in children, acupuncture versus sham, compared a daily rhinitis score and symptom-free days. And they found that after two months of acupuncture, the true acupuncture and the daily rhinitis score were both lower, in other words, they performed better than the sham. And one other study done in 2007 on 80 patients compared acupuncture versus a sham, compared that, again, the TNSS, which is a sum of a couple different symptoms related to nasal congestion, sneezing, itching, found that the true acupuncture was better than the sham. Now, what's cool to me is that this was purely for acupuncture alone, not even factoring in an herbal formula, which is really a key part of many acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine treatments. Because again, what practitioners do is treat the whole pattern and by treating the person. So usually acupuncture, herbal formulas, and other therapies would be part of an included treatment here. So if you're wondering, maybe that research helps you a little bit. You can check it out yourself there below. And otherwise, you can check out that free download, which is five daily rituals to help you add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. Download that, the first link in the description. You'll also get a weekly email teaching you one key habit you can use to live a healthier and better life. And otherwise, you can check out my related videos on this topic right there and right there.